Hello and welcome to Math for Fun and in this video I'm going to show you how do you graph a straight line when it is written in standard form. Now here we have the equation 7x plus y equals to 5. All what you need is to change the equation from standard form to slope intercept form. How do you do that? We move the 7x to the other side it becomes y equals to minus 7x plus 5. And now we have it in the proper form, but don't forget to put 7 over 1, like minus 7 over 1, so that it will help you to graph the line. So what do we need here is we go for the y-intercept, which is 0, 5, and we put it at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and we do the slope. The slope is minus 7 over 1, which means that we have to go down 7 units and 1 to the right, and then we have the other point, and then we can join the two points to get the line. So go down 7 units, you get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and go right 1 unit, and then it is done. Join the points, and then you'll have the straight line drawn. Let's look at that question. Here we have 3x plus 5y equal to minus 5. What we have to do, so we move 3x to the other side, it becomes 5y equals to minus 3x minus 5. So in this case, we need to simplify more, so we have 5 multiplied by y, we divide by 5, all of the equations. So divide by 5, divide by 5, divide by 5, what do we get? We got y equals to minus 3 over 5x minus, minus 5 divided by 5, you get minus 1. So which means that the y-intercept in this case is going to be minus 1, and the slope is minus 3 over 5, and then we do the line. So the y-intercept is minus 1, which means that it's going to be at 0, minus 1. And we do minus 3 going down 1, 2, 3, minus 3 over 5. And then 5 is going to be the run, which means that we go to the right 5 units. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then we join the points. And that's it. Let me show you the special cases when we have x equal to constant or y equal to constant. So when we have x equal to constant, let's say x equal to negative 3, we go on the x-axis to the point x equal to negative 3, and we draw a vertical line at that. While when we have y equal to constant, in this case, we go on the y-axis to the point 0, 4, and we draw a horizontal line for that case. I hope I have covered all the cases, and here we approach the end of the video. If you like the video, don't forget to like and share, and welcome to Math for Fun, and bye for now.